Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about my finalized winter 2020 to 2021 forecast. We are in a La Nina advisory for winter, which means there's a 75% chance of us having a La Nina for winter, which in general means a wet and cold winter for the north and a dry and warm winter for the south. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content. Hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. This is a temperature outlook for 2020 to 2021 winter. You see various colors, I'll explain them. First, the gray you see in the map going from California into a narrow corridor around Illinois, North Carolina is average, where average temperatures are expected this winter. In the south, the Gulf Coast, Texas, Arkansas, Tennessee, Florida, that light orange color you see there is slightly above average temperatures, where you could see a degree, two degrees, three degrees above average in terms of temperature. And that darker orange you see there is moderately above average temperatures going from coastal Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and the panhandle of Florida, where you could see a couple to a few degrees above average in terms of temperature. Going to the north, that aqua color you see there going from the northwest straight over to the northeast is slightly below average temperatures. So you could see up to three degrees below average in terms of temperature. The cyan color you see going from the northwest into New York is moderately below average where you could see a couple to a few degrees below average in terms of temperature. And the darkest blue in the far north Great Lakes, Wisconsin, Michigan, Minnesota, North Dakota is significantly below average temperatures where you could see many degrees below below average and it will get very frigid at times this winter. Let's move on to precipitation. This is my precipitation forecast for 2020 to 2021 winter. You see the gray is average where average precipitation is expected. And in the south, going from Southern California to Florida to North Carolina is slightly below average precipitation, where you could see a couple half inches below average in terms of precipitation. I did not include a moderately below average area, though I do think one could be needed. There is just a little bit of uncertainty regarding how dry these areas will be. And in the extreme northwest and going from North Dakota into the northeast, and that lightest green there is slightly above average precipitation where you could see a couple half inches above average in terms of precipitation. And then the darkest green you see there in the Great Lakes, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, Minnesota is moderately above average precipitation where you could see a couple to a few inches above average in terms of precipitation. Precipitation includes not just rain, but snow as well. So this is a combination of potential rain and snow which is precipitation. This is a brief graphic describing what a La Nina would do for us in winter. You can see the purple is dry, the orange is warm, green is wet, and blue is colder. This is a general pattern for a La Nina. However, things can change and it can differ a little bit winter by winter. That's the stretch of weather forecast for 2020 to 2021 winter forecast finalized. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.